Hi guys, it's me, Gwenny, back with another video. So this video is going to be, um, I think I'm going to title it, My Sister Made Me Buy It. Um, and I don't know if that's clickbaity, I'm not really sure. Um, if it is, I'm sorry. I don't mean to do that, but that's the only title I could think of for this haul video. So if, as you can see, like right here, um, there's a book. Actually, there are two books. And the reason why I say um, my sister made me buy it is because I bought these books. I found out about these books from my sister. And um, it's going to be like a little bit of a story time when I start filming the video. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be the title of this video. My sister made me buy it. But anyways, um, before I get into that... If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gwenny, also known as K-Anything Fangirl, and I'm a sticker addict, watch the tape addict, stationary addict, K-pop, algebra fan, Asian drama fan, a bookworm, a gamer, a collector, actually more of a hoarder, and welcome to my channel. I'm also, if you haven't watched my videos before, I love anything miniature. I've had, I featured a few stuff like Bitty Pops and stuff like that, and I'm also a lover of books. So when I found this two things from Amazon, I was like, when my sister told me about this, I was like, oh my goodness, I have to get it. So anyways, um, without further ado, I think we should just hop into the video. So I will see you in the next clip. Okay, so before we get into this, uh, this two books right here. So these are the two books that I was talking about. My miniature library, uh... And my fairy library. Before we get into this uh, two books, a little bit of story time. So last year, I think in one of my older videos, I talked about um, going to New York for a cousin's wedding. And me and my sister and my mom and my husband, like, we met up in New York. And one of the times that we were there, I showed my sister a video about uh, mini brands books. So mini brands make, like, these mini toys that look like different items. They started out with um, grocery items and then they moved to toys and then they started uh, mini brands books. So I've watched a lot of those videos and me and my sister are like, oh my god, those are too cute. We have to get them. So um, I've heard that they only come from Target. And I, when I tell you that every time I go to Target, I have to look for those mini books, I keep trying. I couldn't find any of it. So... Um, Last, I think early this year, my sister um, sent me a message and she was like, oh my God, I was able to find uh, the mini books on the Target website. So she bought like four mini books and I was like, I don't really want to buy four at one time. They're kind of pricey and all that stuff. So um, I think earlier this year, I actually went to a Target close to my uncle's place and I found two mini books. So I was like, oh my gosh, I finally found them. So I got the mini books and then um, nothing came of it and all that stuff. And then a few weeks ago, me and my husband went to GameStop and one of the GameStops uh, sort of close to me had the mini books. So I bought some more mini books and then I bought two more. And then um, after that, I went back again, bought two more and... Um, one day me and my sister were talking and uh I was like what what's your mini brands I mean what's your mini books uh collection looking at right now so she showed me a picture of her mini book I mean her mini books bookcase and I was like where did you get those other books and she was like oh I got them from this book that I found on Amazon called my miniature library and it was like you kind of make the books and they actually have like readable pages. And I was like, oh my goodness, I kind of want that. So we both went to look at Amazon on the same day. And then she was like, oh my God, she made a My Fairy book. And I was like, damn it. So that is why we have the My Miniature Library and also the My Fairy Library, which we're going to open. Uh, I was, I'm going to open with you guys today, but I'm not going to make all of the books at one time. Maybe we can make like one book and see how long that takes, because I don't want this to be like a really long book. 
So if you guys want to see um, all of the books made later on, let me know in the comment section below. But before that, I'll show you my mini book collection as of right now. So like I said, me and my sister um, have been collecting. I mean, we started getting into mini books and all that stuff. So these are some of the mini books that I have. Minus the doubles. The doubles I've kept separately. But these are the ones that I got. And this is actually like the last mini book that I got. It came with bookshelves. So I made this two bookshelves. I just put a, like a random washi on the side. Um, I might cover it in washi. I don't know. But this is a bookshelf that it came with. And then these are the mini books that I have. So like I said, if you haven't watched, um, what do you call this? Um, many, if you haven't heard of many brands books, they, they come like, I think in four packets, um, you get like either four books or three books and one special item like this magnifying glass or, um, the bookshelf. So, um, I actually, the bookshelf, I think it only comes with like one, one shelf, but I got two in one order, and then the other two I sent to my sister. So I only have like one set of bookshelves for now. But these are the books that I got. So we're just going to quickly flip through these. So this is um, the burn book. So if you've watched um, Mean Girls, I think this is a thing. But this one is just, there's no writing on it. It looks like just a mini notebook that you can write on if you can write really, really tiny. I think this would be good. So I haven't watched... Um, what do you call this? Mean Girls in a long time. And then I have Clueless. So. Oh, I have Clueless. And these books actually. Um, they have like readable pages. In the first few pages. Like this front page. If you. Use a magnifying glass. You can actually read it. But it's only like. I think the first. Maybe two pages and then it's just gibberish after that but you can read the first few pages which is kind of cool so this one even the back is kind of detailed i don't know if you can see it but clueless was one of those movies that i grew up with and then i have matilda by roald dahl i've watched the movie i've never read the book and this is the back of it. And then um, I have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This one I haven't read the book either, but I've watched the movies. Find a Golden Ticket. The Twits I've never heard of. But this is the last Roald Dahl um, book that I have. And like I said, the first few pages you can actually sort of read. And then the rest of it is gibberish. And then um, I have Goosebumps. I remember uh, hearing about Goosebumps when I was younger. But I've never, I don't think I've ever read any of the books. So this one is Deep Trouble. And then this one is Haunted Mask. So these books are by Arnold Stein. And then this one is A Night of the Living Dummy, which seems horrifying and then uh colleen hoover i've never read this book of hers but i've read other books of hers reminders of him this is the back and then stranger things which i've never watched i've heard of it so this one is suspicious minds and then this one is darkness on the edge of town and then um, this one is Cat Kid Comic Club by Dave uh, Dav Pilkey or Dave Pilkey. I don't know. And this one, I think I put one of the bookmarks in it. You also get bookmarks. So this is one of the bookmarks that I got. I think I got. I know I have at least four of the bookmarks, but that has the bookmark that I got. They're so small. And then this one, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Last Straw. So these are my um, hardcover books. So the rest of them are soft covers, but four of them are hardcovers. Um, 
This one is a bookmark. Look in the back. It looks like a map. They're so small. <laughs> so cute. And then this one is Diary for Wimpy Kid Roderick Rules by Jeff Kinney. I've never read any of these. But this is the other bookmark. It says Mini Brands Books. And so, like, I found the first two at a Target close to my uncle's place and never found it ever again until I went to that GameStop. I still look for it whenever I go to Target, but I never seen it. Um, this one is by Ransom Riggs. This one is Library of Souls, the third novel of Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children. I read the first book and maybe the second book, but I don't remember reading the third book. But this is this book. And I've never seen the movie. And this is the other bookmark that I have. I don't know if I'm showing it correctly. So those are my mini book collection. So like I said, I saw this, my sister has this miniature library and I was like, oh my God, I need to have it. So this one is the first one. So let's look at this one. So this one says 30 tiny books to make, read and treasure. And I, I have to say, when I first got this from Amazon, I kind of like tore into it and looked at it already. But this is what the front looks like. This is what the side looks like. And in the back, there's this paper. So this is what it looks like once you finish it. So it says, once upon a time, there was a little library full of tiny tales and miniature masterpieces. Have fun creating a cute collection of tiny books that you can really read with titles ranging from illustrated fairy tales to well-loved nonsense rhymes and books of butterflies birds and flowers plus books for you to complete yourself you'll have everything you need to make your own beautiful miniature library 30 doll sized books to make simply cut and fold the pages and stick on the covers the book converts into a pretty play set uh stand on its side and it becomes a charming room scene complete with press out bookcase Store your books in the box when you finish playing. Just close the book and the library treasures are safely contained until next time. So these are the list of books that's here. So you have Atlas of the World, Beauty and the Beast, The Book of Birds, Cinderella, The Elves and the Shoemaker, The Frog Prince, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Hansel and Gretel, Jabberwocky, The Little Red Riding Hood, Momotaro, The Peach Boy, Moths and Butterflies, Mythical Creatures, The Owl and the Pussycat, Plants and Flowers, Princess and the Pea, Signs of the Zodiac, Sleeping Beauty, The Snow Queen, Thumbelina, and 10 Books to Complete Yourself. So this was made by uh, Daniela Zaglenka Terrazini, is a London-based illustrator whose ex exquisite drawings offer a fresh take on classic styles. Her work has features in books, magazines, and advertising campaigns worldwide. So this is cut out to make a mini library. So this is the back of the book. It says, once upon a time, there was a little library full of tiny tales and miniature masterpieces. Open the box to enter a world of adventure, magic, and wonder, and make your very own collection of books to read and treasure forever. So let me move all of my mini books aside. I'll, I'll arrange them. They were arranged properly, and then I just tossed them in there. <laughs> we'll move them for the side, to the side for now. And I'll move the other one on the side for now. So let's talk about this one. So like I said, I opened this one already. Um, so this is the, what the inside looks like. This is the floor we saw on this picture right here and you put your book bookshelf on this side of the thing so it comes with this booklet it says my miniature library 30 tiny books to make read and treasure instructions so this is how you make the books so you cut them and then you fold them and then um, you glue them together to make the pages of the book 
and then you cut out the cover and you carefully fold it and then you paste it to the edge and then it says here some books are incomplete for you to finish yourself you can write the story of your life create a scrapbook of tiny treasures pen your own mystery and not adventure stories and note down your thoughts and doodles two of the books are blank so you can add whatever you like write a story or a journal or draw some pictures don't forget to write the book's title on the cover so I think I'm gonna try and do that later with my stickers and then this is how to make your bookcase that you put on the back of the book and this is what it looks like and then these are the stuff that's in uh, what do you call this the library content so they have fairy tales and poems and then they have factual books and then these are the books that you complete so those are the instructions i i guess you can pause the video and see if you want to read it and not but like these are the covers of the books oh my god they're so freaking pretty so take your time and carefully cut around the outside of the cover. See the instruction leaflet for details on how to fold and stick these around the inside pages. So you have Cinderella. Um, it says, have a, how a lost slipper leads to everlasting love. The Frog Prince. Beware of making promises that you can't keep. The Elves and the Shoemaker. Dreams can come true when hard work is rewarded. Goldilocks and the Three Bears, The Cautionary Tale of a Foolish Young Girl, The Snow Queen, Shards of Mirror and Ice Will Never Puncture Courage and Kindness, Little Red Riding Hood, Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf, Beauty and the Beast, A Heartwarming Tale of Conquering All, Thumbelina, From Barleycorn Baby to Pocket Sized Princess, Sleeping Beauty, uh, The Enchanting Story of a Kingdom that Slept for a Hundred Years. And then Hansel and Gretel, A Cunning Escape from a Candy Cane Cottage. So that's the first set of pages. And then you have the next ones. So these are kind of like in cardboard, cardstock paper. So it's kind of like hardcover. Oh my goodness, it's hard to get them out of here. Okay, the next one. Um, the Owl and the Pussycat, a nonsense ditty about an owl and a kitty. Moths and Butterflies, an illustrated spotter's guide. Signs of the Zodiac, 12 astrological signs and symbols and constellations. Uh, Momotaro the Peach Boy, a Japanese fairy tale, an inspirational story of friendship and ba bravery. Jabberwocky, a rip-roaring rhyme about weird and wonderful creatures. Mythical creatures discovered among mysterious monsters and bizarre beasts. Atlas of the world identify Earth's oceans and continents. Um, the princess and the pea appearances can be deceptive. What's inside cannot be denied. The book of birds facts about our feathered friends, plants and flowers, botanical beauty of beautiful blooms. And then there's this one. Let me get this out. Eh. Okay, so now it's easier to get them out. So this one is, um, I think these are the ones that you make um, yourself. So you have my miniature mystery, my pattern doodle book, my miniature fairy tale, my week, uh, my family album. This one is blank, so you can write your own title. This one is also blank, you can write your own title. It says this one is my mini adventure, the story of my life, and my tiny treasures. So those are the these are the personalized books that you you can make. Um, so you have like these regular books. And then these are the insides of the book. So if you want to pause the video to read this. But the Cinderella, the Owl and the Pussycat, um, Princess and the Pea, Thumbelina, um, Momotaro and the Peach Boy. And then there's Jabberwocky. Um, 
So there's at least like two pages of each. And then um, you have the Frog Prince, Sleeping Beauty, the Elves and the Shoemaker, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, um, Beauty and the Beast, and Hansel and Gretel. And these are all like put in kind of like nice paper. The Snow Queen and Little Red Riding Hood. Mythical Creatures. Signs of the Zodiac. This one is Moths and Butterflies, the Book of Birds. I hope I'm showing this properly. This one is Plants and Flowers, Atlas of the World. And then these are the empty pages so that you create your own. So this one is my miniature fairy tale, my miniature adventure, um, my miniature mystery, my week. And then you can put stickers. I'm thinking of putting some of my stickers in here since I have a ton of them. The story of my life, um, my pattern doodle book. So you can doodle on it. Uh, my family album. My tiny treasures. And then these are um, blank pages for the other book. That you can create whatever story you like. So those are the pages that you get for this one. And then this is the bookshelf that you can make. So we can probably try and see if we can make the bookshelf. And then um, maybe make one of the books if you want to see that one. And then this is what the inside of the book looks like. So on the picture, you put the bookshelf right here. And then you have like this background. So you can have it like sitting up like this. And you can have like a backdrop if you love dolls and miniatures and stuff like that. I think this would be really, really cute. Um, let's see if we can make, how long is this video already? Mm, 20 minutes. Okay, let's see if we can make this one quickly. So this one is the bookshelf. And I believe you just fold them. Maybe. I hope. I probably should be looking up the, the thing, don't I? Okay, you tear them off and carefully press out the, no need for scissors, press out the tiny rectang rectangles to leave the slots. Um, I think it's supposed to be like this. So you can take this one's off. Probably should have used the... These are easy to poke out. Whoops. Wee. Um, where's the other ones? Oh, okay. This one. And then, what do you have to do? You have to fold this part, I think. kind of have to fold it like a box and then you put them on the slots so they don't fly off and same thing with this one you fold this one right here ah that's not cool I'm not folding it enough sorry you're gonna hear me struggle Too, too bad. Ugh. I'm sorry. This is not not looking well. Oh, decent enough. It's gonna get covered in books anyways. These are the shelves. 
so you can kind of like put these shelves like right here on these slots uh, oh my goodness I broke a nail again gosh darn it what is going on Okay, that is much better. Okay, snap into place. Okay, so that is your bookcase, which we'll put right there for now. This one can go somewhere else. Um, we can make one book. Let's see how I do this on camera without messing it up. I'm kind of scared. Let's try and make Cinderella. So I'm going to cut this one. Gently. No going back if I mess this up. I guess if it's not straight, it can just be like, you know those books that have like weird jagged edges? It's just gonna, it's just gonna be how it looks like. And it says this one glued us to the underside of the next page. Sorry, this is sort of like live, people live. But like I said, we're not going to do this all of the books on camera. I'm just showing you how the books would be. At least one of them so that you'll know what to expect. If you, ever you buy this book from Amazon. So I got these books. I think they were like around um, $19.99. Then you just kind of add shipping or something like that. I think they also have it at Barnes & Noble. You can get it from Barnes & Noble. I just decided Amazon was the easiest way to go. Because Barnes & Noble, you can't really be sure to um, know if they have it on stock. At least with... Um, that's interesting. I almost thought this was like Beauty and the Beast for a second. Because of the yellow gown. I don't remember... Cinderella having yellow gown, but that's probably because Cinderella I know of is from um, Disney. So you just cut these pages out. Well, I think that was crooked. Oh well, I'm not giving this away. This is going to be my own book from my collection. And I don't even know if you're seeing it. I hope I'm still recording. But this is how this thing is. Okay, so I got two pages of the book. And I believe, how do you fold this? Um, you fold this like this accordion style so you kind of fold this one this way uh, Lord maybe I shouldn't do this live because we're gonna be here forever but I wanted to show you <laughs> how I do it it's not gonna be perfect so don't expect perfect but we're going to do as best as we can. Who's with me? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so hard. I kind of wish it was a little bit on the perforated side. But then it's probably going to tear off if it was perforated. But they do have like the guides on where you're going to fold the book. 
So I'm trying to do that. Ignore my nasty nails. I haven't been able to paint them. So I've ha I've seen other people make books like this, um, but I've never really made it. But I know um, I watch a lot of my froggy stuff videos on YouTube, and that one is like one of my favorite ones to look for uh, to watch when I want to see miniatures. She loves anything Barbie. I do too. Any kind of doll, and actually. And then this one, sorry, it's taking me forever, but I kind of want to make sure I do this at least properly. So that's one book. And then this one, I think you have to fold it the other way. Let me see. The other one, you have to start from here to fold it this way. And then this way. This way. So what have you guys been up to? I don't know why I'm saying that. You're not watching me do this live. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess I didn't want to just have you listen to nothing while I'm doing this. I don't want to play music because I don't want any copyright strikes on my videos. But at the same time, too lazy to look for non-copyright music. We're almost done. Am I still recording? I think so. This one is like this. And then it says on this book to glue this part of the book to the underside of this one. So I have a glue stick right here, which we're gonna try and put glue right here. And then Put this page right on top. Just mash it down. And now it's like one longer book. And it's said to kind of like press it so that the pages are connected. Then let's find the cover for Cinderella, which is on the first page. So this is Cinderella, and on the back of it, it does have a color, so if you don't want to look through this one, you can just look through here and cut it that way. So let's just do that. I'm so scared. Don't know why I'm scared, but I'm scared. I'm scared of messing this up. Okay. Whew. So this one has a uh, Cut the cover and carefully fold it down on either side of the metal section. The spine is a different color to help guide you. Um, and then do this. So do it like this. And then this one. Fold it like this. It 
So that's the spine, right? Is this book going to fit here? That's weird. There's this empty space right here. Am I supposed to cut that empty space too? Uh... It doesn't say. Cut out the cover and lay it out. But like this one is a little bit bigger. Was I supposed to cut it out? And? Because it would be so hard to kind of like figure out where the pages are. Maybe I need to cut this part out. Let's do that. If I mess it up, I'm sorry. Oh, Lord. Did I mess it up already? Oh, well. Nobody's going to see it. <laughs> That's why I'm doing only one book on camera. Because then if I make a mistake, uh, it'll be on me. Okay, so we have the book, and then I think it said to this page right here goes on the front cover. So you put glue right here. I'm messing this page up. Sorry for all of you guys. It's like, <gasps> the blasphemy. I don't care. That's my book. I can do whatever I want. But anyways, so this is the front of the book. So you just put it, I guess, close to the spine. Yeah, I think that's it. And then this part right here, you put glue and it goes to the back of the page of the book. And then you pinch it together. Mm, let's have it so that it's not like the other one. Mm. I think it's okay. And says you pinch it together. It didn't say to glue each of the accordion pages, but look at that. We made our first book. So this is Cinderella. So if you open it, there's actual words in it. So Cinderella by Charles Perrault. Cinderella lived with her cruel stepmother and stepsisters who made her cook and clean all day long. One morning they received an invitation to the ball, the princess ball, but Cinderella was not allowed to go. The stepmother and stepsisters went to the ball, dressed in fine clothes and jewels, and poor Cinderella was left alone with her chores. Suddenly, a beautiful woman appeared. She said that she was Cinderella's fairy godmother. You shall go to the ball, declared the fairy godmother, turning Cinderella's rags into a beautiful gossamer gown. Um, she waved her magic wand again, this time transforming the pumpkin into a spectacular coach and kitchen mice into footmen. So there's the fairy godmother and the coach. The fairy godmother warned Cinderella that the magic would wear off when the clock struck, mi struck midnight. At the ball, Cinderella danced with a handsome prince who was enchanted by her, but midnight came all too soon. Here's Cinderella fleeing. When the clock struck twelve, Cinderella ran away, leaving behind one of her glass slippers in her haste. The prince seized upon the shoe and swore that he would marry the woman whose foot it fitted. All of the ladies in the land tried it on, but it fitted not a single one. Then the prince found Cinderella slaving in her mo stepmother's kitchen. The shoe fitted her dainty foot perfectly. Cinderella and the prince were married, and her prince were married and lived happily ever after. The end. So that is pretty cool. I think that's a decent size book. Oh gosh, I messed up that spine now. But 
if you look at the bookshelf, it fits sort of perfectly. Fits like that. I think it's about the same size as my Mini Brands books. I can put my Mini Brands books in this bookshelf too when I'm done with it. And that is what this book looks like. So we're going to set it aside and we're going to grab the fairy one. So you can kind of like see um, the fairy one. And then we'll end this video. And like I said, if you want to see the rest of it after I've done all the books, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll try to make all of these books and show you what they look like after they're all made. But let me put this aside. Oh, I can't wait to do this. I can't wait to do all of these books. But it's kind of hard doing it on camera. I don't know how people live stream stuff, like crafts and stuff, because it's kind of... I get nervous when you guys are watching me. Anyways, so that is my miniature library. So this one is my fairy library, which is the second book. It says, Make a World... Uh, make a Magical World of Miniature Books, illustrated by Daniela Jaglenka Terrazini. I just missed that one. No, this one didn't have it. It didn't have the illustrator's name. Weird. But anyway, so this is what the My Fair Library looks like. And this is the back. So this one has the wrapping still because I haven't taken it out. It says, Welcome to the magical world of Fairyland, where you will find a little woodland library full of tiny fairy tales and miniature guides to the secret fairy world. Create your very own enchanting collection of tiny books that you can re really read, with titles ranging from illustrated guides to fairy folk and their woodland friends and foes, to classic fairy tales and books of magical ingredients and charms, plus books for you to complete yourself. You'll have everything you need to make your own stunning fairy fairy library. 20 fairy-sized books to make. Simply cut and fold the pages and stick it on the covers. The book converts into a magical fairyland. Stand it on its side and it becomes a complete woodland scene, complete with miniature shelves to assemble. Store your books in a box when you've finished playing. Just unfold the shelves and close the box and your fairy library treasures are safely contained until next time. So this one doesn't have as many books as the other one. The other one had 30 tiny books. This one only has 20. So 12 of the mini illustrated books is, um, there is the fairy folk, decorating your fairy home, rules and regulations of fairyland, the fairy and two, the two sisters, fairy song, magical ingredients, how to spot fairies, Famous Fairies, Tips and Charms for Trusted Humans, A Guide to Fairyland, Woodland Friends and Foes, and The Adventures of Pinocchio, plus eight books to complete by yourself. So this is what one of the books look like, and this is what the inside looks like. And like I said, this is like 20 bucks. So let's open this one, shall we? This one I have it open, so we're going to open it together. And... I hope I did not mess that up. This one I won't make the book. Because then we'll be here forever. I'm just going to show you what the inside looks like. So this one is the other page that we read. And this is what the back looks like. Open the box to go on an adventure into Fairyland. And create a stunning library of magical miniature books that you can really read. Whew. Oh my gosh, this is the floor for the fairy. And this one didn't have doesn't have a booklet, it seems like. It just has this um page right here. So these are the library contents. So these are the guides, the fairy folk decorating your fairy home, rules and reg regulations for a fairyland, magical ingredients, how to spot fairies. Um Famous fairies, tips and charms for trusted humans, a guide, a guide to fairyland, woodland friends and foes, and then fairy tales and songs, the fairy and two sisters, fairy song and adventures of Pinocchio, and then these are the ones that you complete yourself: some magical keepsakes, fairy spells, fairy introductions, tooth fairy logbook, the story of 
my fairy story, and two blank templates to use however you like. So those are the books that you can find. So this is how you make your books, and I've shown it to you earlier with the other one. So I'll just show you the covers of the books and kind of like briefly show you what's inside the, the pages of the books. So this is what the inside looks like. So these are, I think, the bookshelves. So all you have to do is do this. And I think, I don't think you need, um, uh, you just fold it like that, fold it, and then you kind of fold it like this. And then this tab right here will hold it in place. This one looks a little bit thinner though. Will it close after you build it? No, it will not. That's interesting. This one, I think, has a thicker... This book. Or maybe it doesn't... If you fold it, it barely closes. <laughs> so you might have to disassemble your bookshelf when, if you want it closed. Or put it so that it's stuck. But this one, if you fold the, the shelves... Um, this thing is not going to close because you can see the spine is thinner. Let me show you the comparison. Eh. So this one, that's how you make the, the shelf, by the way. So this spine, compare it to the other one's spine. Okay, where was I? As I was rudely interrupted by my boss. This is the difference between the spines of the two. The fairy one has a um, kind of like a smaller spine than the miniature library one. Maybe it's because it's less books or something like that, but it's smaller. So um, you can't really keep the shelves uh, formed and close to book unless you just want to display it. But anyways, um, let me show you what the inside looks like before we end this video. So these are the inside of the video. So there's the Fairy Folk, an illustrated guide to the Fairy Folk, the Fairy and the Two Sisters, a cautionary tale about the importance of kindness, how to spot fairies, top secret, um, decorating your fairy home, fairy DIY for beginners, fairy song, the tale is told, the song is sung, and the fairy feast is done. Famous Fairies, The Stars of Fairyland, Rules and Regulations of Fairyland by Order of Queen Titania, Magical Ingredients, Natural and Magical Remedies from Fairies, Tips and Charms for Trusted Humans, Words of Wisdom for living, Humans Living Near Fairies. And then the next covers are The Adventures of Pinocchio, Will Pinocchio Ever Become a Real Boy? A Tale About the Power of the Truth. Fair introductions. Fill in this book with words and drawings about your own fairy friends. My fairy story. So these are um, the ones that you make for your own. So a guide to fairyland. Find your way around the magical kingdom. Magical keepsakes. Tooth fairy logbook. These ones are the ones you make. Your own stories. Woodland friends and foes. Fair, uh, a guide to all of your woodland neighbors. Um, fairy spells. Use this book to write your own fairy spells. The story of blank fairy tale by blank. And these are the two blank books. I think those are the ones. So this one is the fairy folk. Um, decorating your fairy home. Let me see. Fairy song. Magical Ingredients, Tips and Charms for Trusted Humans, A Guide to Fairland, um, Woodland Friends and Foes. Okay, so that one is a, a real book. The Adventures of Pinocchio, real book. 
these are the ones that you make your own. So magical keepsakes, fairy spell. Um, fairy introductions. Tooth fairy. I don't have any teeth that disappear. The story of blank. My fairy story. And this one is the blank pages where you can make your own stories. So those are the items in the My Fairy Library. So like I said in the earlier in the in the first clip, um, let me know in the comment section below if you want to see all of the books made. Um, I can film another video in the future for that. I cannot wait to try and build this whole like all the books in this one. But like I said, I'm not gonna do it live because this video already took me more than I thought it would be. And I thought it was just going to be like 30 minutes, but I've been speaking for more than 30. And um, my phone is running out of space. But anyways, that is it for this haul video. I hope you like it. If you got to this part of the video, thank you so much for listening to me ramble on about miniature books and story time and all kinds of stuff. Um... If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. And like I said, let me know in the comment section below. Do you want to see all of the books made after I've made them? And I will try to complete this and film it for you if you guys want to see it. But anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!